Before we get started, I'm going to go through the materials that I have used for this strawberry project. I have used James C. Brett Flutterby Chunky in these three colours. Now, to be honest, you don't necessarily need the black in this uh, chenille yarn. You could use a standard uh, chunky uh, acrylic yarn or anything that you wanted to to get this result so this isn't necessary but I did use it um, but you will need the red and the green I have also used just a DK weight um, lemon colour for the little seeds here um, again it doesn't really matter what brand you use for that it's just that extra little detail I have used a 5mm crochet hook for my project but you can adjust this depending on your personal tension. The aim is that when you work up your project that you can't see the stuffing between uh, the fabric so uh, there's no gaps in the fabric. So if you need to go down um, even a, another hook size or two then don't be afraid to do that to get the look that you need for your amigurumi. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle for sewing in the ends. And then the last thing that you'll need is your safety eyes. Now I have this pack here which I got off Amazon. It's got loads of eyes and also noses in here. So I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can get something like this. But if you have anything to hand then you can use that. Um, I'll also say as well that you can adjust the um, eye size. Uh, if you want to, depending on what kind of look you want to get for your strawberry. But again, I'll leave all of the details in the blog post. So click the show more button on this video. It will take you to my website where you have all of the information you need, including the free pattern for the small strawberry. And there will also be a printable PDF pattern for the whole family of strawberries as well. So go ahead and check that out. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so to begin this project, we're going to start off by creating a slip knot and chaining two. However, if you are using a um, DK or a chunky and it's not this chenille yarn, then you can go ahead and use a magic circle if you prefer. Um, doing a magic circle with this chenille yarn is just a bit of a nightmare. So instead, we're going to create our slip knot and then go ahead and chain two to begin with, one and two, and then insert your hook into the very first chain and join with a slip stitch. So go ahead and pull through and pull through, and then we have created a really tiny circle in the center of this. So we're going to start off by chaining one, which does not count as a stitch. And then for round one, we're going to do six double crochets. Remember, I'm working in UK terms. So in the US, this is known as a single crochet. So we're going to go ahead and go into that very um, center circle, yarn over, pull through. You'll have two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one and two, I'm going to work over this tail end as I'm working, three, four, five, and six. And that is the end of round one. So now we're going to move on to round two and we're going to increase our stitches. So we are going to have a little pattern repeat going on here. So we're going to increase to nine stitches in this round. So we're going to do a double crochet into that very first stitch. If you're unsure of where that first stitch is, you can count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our first stitch is just here. So I'm going to go into the top of that stitch and do a double crochet. And then because we're working in the round, I'm going to take a stitch marker and I'm going to put it in that very first stitch. So the pattern repeat for this um, project is double crochet followed by two double crochets. 
So we've just done our double crochet and then we'll do two double crochets into the next stitch. One and two. And then we'll just keep repeating that round. So double crochet, followed by two double crochets, one and two. And then the last repeat, double crochet, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch, one and two. So we're now ready to move on to round three, where we're going to increase to 12 stitches. So we're going to do a double crochet into that first stitch, mark the stitch, so you know it's the beginning of your round. Remember we're not joining because we're working in that amigurumi style, so it's really easy to lose um, track of where you're up to, so it's really important that you use that. So double crochet, into the first stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then two double crochets into the next stitch. One and two. So that's our pattern repeat. So double crochet, double crochet, two double crochets into the next stitch, one and two. And then we'll do that once more, double crochet, double crochet, two double crochets into the next stitch, one and two. So we now have 12 stitches in our round and we're ready to move on to round four. Okay, so I've just removed my stitch marker and we're going to do round four where we're going to increase to 15 stitches. So for this, we're going to do a pattern repeat of three double crochets followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. So I'll just do my first stitch here and mark that with my stitch marker. So it's one, two, and three, followed by two double crochets, one and two. And then again, one, two, three, followed by two double crochets, one and two. And then for the third time, that pattern repeats, one, two, three, followed by two double crochets one and two. Please make sure that you are counting your stitches as you go round and maybe even count them at the end of your round because it's really difficult to um, pull this back, <laughs> this yarn back, so just take your time with it. For round five we're going to increase to 18 stitches, so the pattern repeat is going to be four double crochets followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. So that's one, and I'm going to mark my stitch with my stitch marker, two, three, and four, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch, one and two. So pause the video, work that twice more. So four double crochets followed by two double crochets into the next stitch and then meet me back for the next round. For round six, we're going to increase to 21 stitches. So we're going to do five double crochets followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. So that's one, make sure you mark your stitch, two, three, four and five, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch, one and two. So go ahead, repeat that twice more, five double crochets followed by two double crochets into the next stitch and I'll meet you back for the next round. 
For round seven, we're going to increase to 24 stitches. So our pattern repeat is six double crochets followed by two double crochets into the next stitch. So that's one, mark the stitch, two, three, four, five, and six, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch, one and two. So that's six double crochets followed by two double crochets. We're going to repeat that twice more and then meet me back for round eight. For round eight, we're going to increase to 27 stitches. So we're going to do a pattern repeat of seven double crochets followed by two double crochets. So we have our first double crochet, mark that stitch, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch, one, and two and you're going to repeat that twice more so you have 27 stitches pause the video and then meet me back in a moment for round nine we're going to um, increase 30 stitches so our pattern repeat is eight double crochets followed by two double crochets so that's one mark that stitch two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, followed by two double crochets into the next stitch, one and two. Pause the video, work that twice more, eight double crochets followed by two double crochets and then meet me back for the next round. We're now on to round 10 and the next couple of rows are going to be a little bit different and the reason for that is just so that where these increases are, it doesn't distort um, the shape of the strawberry. So we're just going to change where these increases are for the moment. And to do that, we're going to begin by um, doing four double crochets. We're still going to increase this round. We're going from 30 stitches to 33 stitches, but we're just going to start with four double crochets. So that's one. And I'm going to mark the stitch. Two. Three. And four. And then I'm going to do two double crochets in that next stitch, one and two. Then we're going to do a pattern repeat. So we're going to repeat this twice. We're going to do nine double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, followed by two double crochets, one and two. We'll repeat that again, nine double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, followed by two double crochets. And you might be able to see what I've done here. So instead of doing all that nine double crochets and two double crochets first, we've kind of just split it up to shift those increases round. 
So we're going to do one double crochet into the last five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to move on to round 11 and we're going to start off by doing five double crochets. So that's one, mark the stitch, two, three, four, and five. Just make sure I'm going into the right stitch, five, followed by two double crochets into that next stitch one and two and then you're going to do a pattern repeat so you're going to do ten double crochets followed by two double crochets into the next stitch twice so it's ten double crochets two double crochets ten double crochets two double crochets and then meet me back when you have your remaining stitches so pause the video and meet me back in just a moment Okay, so once you've done that pattern repeat twice, you then have five stitches remaining, which you are going to double crochet into. One, two, three, four, and five. And at the end of that round, you have 36 stitches. For round 12, it's super simple. You're going to do one double crochet into each stitch all the way round. So again, you will have 36 stitches in this round. So just one stitch into each round. Please make sure that you are counting to make sure you're on the right track. And then meet me back for round 13. Okay, so for round 13, we're actually now going to start to decrease our work. So we're going to start off by doing five double crochets. So one, mark your stitch. Two, three, four, and five. We're then going to do a decrease, so double crochet two together. Now, if you're using, uh, if you're not using this uh, chenille type yarn, then you might want to do an invisible decrease, which I do have a video for on my channel. Um, but a normal decrease in this case is absolutely fine. I, I didn't find it makes made much difference with this type of yarn. So you want to insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through. Don't finish off that stitch. Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook, and those two, two stitches just make one stitch just here. So we're going to repeat that again, so five double crochets, one, two, three, four, and five, followed by double crochet two together. And you're going to repeat that all the way round. You'll have 30 stitches in total. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way round to your stitch marker and then meet me back once you're ready. So at the end of round 13, you will have 31 stitches. We're going to remove our stitch marker and then move on to round 14. So for round 14, we're going to start off by doing two double crochets, one and two. I'm going to make sure I mark that very first stitch with my stitch marker. And then we're going to do double crochet two together, creating one stitch. So we're going to repeat that all the way around, two double crochets, double crochet two together, and then we are going to have three stitches remaining. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way around until you have those three stitches remaining, and then meet me back for the end of this round. 
Okay, so you have those last three stitches remaining, which you're going to do a double crochet into. And then in that round, you will have 24 stitches. So we're now going to do round 15. And for this round, we're going to do double crochet two together all the way round and you will end up with 12 stitches. So double crochet two together and then mark that first stitch and then go straight into the next double crochet two together and then the next and work your way all the way around and you'll have 12 stitches um, in total at the end of this round so pause the video and then meet me back because next we're going to add the eyes and um, uh, stuff and then we'll finish the final round okay so once you have done those 12 double crochet two together we are going to add our eyes so for this i'm using one and a half centimeter eyes but you can change this depending on what kind of look look you want to go for for your strawberry and we're going to put it between rounds um, nine and ten like so and then when you pop the other one in you want to have about four stitches in between them so one two three four if i go in here we can see that um there is four stitches in between so make sure that you're really happy with the positioning of the eyes before you go ahead and put the backs on uh, because you will not be able to get these off once they are on um, because obviously they're safety eyes so they're difficult to remove so squeeze them on and then you're going to stuff the strawberry so I'm going to take my filler here it's best to take um, smaller amounts when you do this and place it in I saw a little tip the other day of almost putting it around the edges first and then going ahead and stuffing the middle and it just makes for a nicer look on the outer edge of your amigurumi wh whichever project you're doing so i'm just going to place this around the edge first and then make a hole in the middle and continue to stuff so go ahead and do that make sure it's nice and firm and then meet me back for the final round okay so my final round is going to be um, double crochet two together six times so that brings us to six stitches so it's double crochet two together and that's one two Make sure that you are getting that right stitch because uh, it might look like it's this one but it's actually the next one three four five and six okay so now what I'm going to do is snip off my yarn leaving a long tail end take my darning needle pull that yarn out So we are still left with a little hole but that is okay because I'm going to take this yarn on my darning needle and then I'm going to go in the 
front loop only of each of those stitches all the way around. And then I'm going to pull that tight to close it up and then go ahead and fasten off. And what I do is I go into my work and I just bring it out somewhere through the center, snip off. And then once you squeeze, that goes back into the work. Now I just want to show you something really quickly because I made this on camera, obviously, um, and my tension was a lot tighter compared to when I made my other one. I had a baby sat on my knee, so my tension wasn't quite as tight. But can you see the difference here in the size? Uh, because my stitches are a lot tighter here than what they are here. Um, and ideally we want it to look more like this one than this one. Um, but uh, you know, that's what you get for trying to crochet with a baby on your knee. But I'm actually quite happy, happy with how that's turned out because this one can be my eldest daughter and this one can be the, my youngest. So let's go ahead and make the, uh, the foliage, so the leaves and the stem, and then we'll go ahead and do uh, the stitching and the finishing touches. Okay, so for the stem, we're going to make a slip knot, and when you make your slip knot, you want to leave a long tail end, and this will be for sewing, um, sewing onto the strawberry. And then we're going to start off with a chain two, one and two, and join in that first stitch with a slip stitch. Sometimes can be a little bit slippy, so you just have to take your time with that. Now, as I say, if you're using a different yarn, uh, not this, this type of yarn, then you can do a magic uh, circle instead. So first of all, we are going to do uh, 10 double crochets into this center circle. So one, I'm going to leave that tail end out the way because I don't want to sew it in at this point. Two, three, four, bring them round, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. And this time we're going to join with a slip stitch into that very first stitch. So again, if you're unsure, you can count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I'm going to slip stitch into that very first stitch to join that round. So now for um, round two, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to create our leaf here. So we're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. So not the one that's on the hook, one and two. We'll slip stitch into there. We'll then do a double crochet into the next chain. A half treble crochet, which is half double crochet into the next chain. So we pull all the way through. Then a treble crochet into the next chain, which is double crochet in the US, yarn over. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. 
we're then going to skip the next stitch and slip stitch into the stitch after and that just anchors it down and then we're going to repeat that again so chain five one two three four and five slip stitch into the second chain from the hook double crochet into the next chain half treble into the next chain and then treble crochet into the next skip a stitch slip stitch and repeat so you're going to repeat that all the way around um, meet me back once you've done your last treble crochet and I'll show you how to connect and move on to the next step okay so now we've done the last treble and we're going to slip stitch into that very first stitch to join and then we have our leaves now what we're going to do is the stem so instead of um, tying off and reattaching we're just going to slip stitch around the nearest post of these double crochets so these double crochets are what we did at the beginning of the um, or the round one so we're going to go around that post so we're going to go around that post and slip stitch just loosely um, we don't want that to be too tight uh, we're going to chain one and now we're going to be working around the posts of these stitches so we're going to do a double crochet around that same post of what we've done our chain one we're going to skip a stitch and then do another double crochet around the next post of that double crochet skip a stitch double crochet around that post that's three stitches skip a stitch double crochet around the next post a little bit fiddly but I promise it works out uh, skip a stitch and then double crochet around the next post so we now have five double crochets so one two three four five we're going to slip stitch let me just double check one two three four five yep yeah. so we're going to slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet it looked like there was more because we had a slip stitch and the chain one uh, so make sure that you're counting backwards to find that right stitch so we now have five double crochets now what we're going to do is five double crochets into uh, those stitches so we're going to chain one and then double crochet one two three four and five So we have one, two, three, four, five slip stitch into top of that stitch, chain one, and then we're going to do double crochet two together twice. So again, just take your time because we're working into a small space here and um, it can just be a little bit fiddly. So double crochet two together twice and then double crochet into that last stitch. There's no need to join here. We just need to snip off. Pull out, thread up your darning needle And then I'm just going to um, close up the top of this stitch by pulling through, 
pulling through. And then I'm going to insert this into the center. And snip off that tail end. Like so. So there we have the um, stem and the leaves. Now what you can do if you wanted to, um, if you had a little bit more yarn, you can thread up more yarn. I will just show you quickly. If you want to make that stem really defined, this is what you can do. So I'm just going to, I would normally take some of my yarn um, that I had from the tail end, but uh, you can thread up some more if you need to. So I'm going to thread that up and then I'm going to pull it through the base of the stem and then uh, go to the opposite side and then just keep kind of going to the opposite side of the stem and pulling the base of that stem in so it's just kind of defining it a little bit more this bit is totally optional um, it kind of works a bit better on the larger version of the strawberry just because it makes it um, less floppy because it's it's bigger on that version so yeah I've just gone around the base of that and pulled it in just to make it a bit more sturdy and a bit more stem like. So I'm just going to pull that through, put a couple of knots in there. This is going to be hidden when we uh, sew it onto the strawberry so it doesn't matter too much. Just make sure it's nice and tight, snip that off and there we have it. So you can just see it just um, makes it a little bit sturdier. So now all we have to do is sew this on to the top of the strawberry. So we've got our long tail end here. So go ahead and thread that up. I'm just going to get this in position because we want to be um, sewing on around uh, the base of where the leaves are. So I'm just going to pull that out from the centre and get it into position. Uh, you can pin this onto your work if you want to. And I like to have um, the leaves so they're kind of in line with the eyes like so. So it's a little bit of a fringe. Um, so I'm going to take that and then I'm going to go under one of the stitches of the strawberry and with this yarn you will find that when you're sewing it um, all the little pieces get everywhere so just be aware of that but we want to catch some of the stem and then also uh, a stitch of the strawberry and just slowly go round. What you want to be mindful of is that you are not um, pulling the stitch straight over here. So you want to kind of go underneath the stitch so it's not showing. And then we can go back and under. And you're just going to work your way round nice and slowly until all of that has been connected. So go ahead, sew on your stem um, and your leaves and then meet me back in a moment. Okay, so my um, stem and leaves are now sewn on and what I'm going to do now is do the mouth. Um, now, as you can see with the daddy strawberry that I've done here, I've done eyebrows. And then the mummy strawberry, I've done some eyelashes. So you can really play around with this um, and personalize it to your family. Um, 
So this one I'm going to do the same as the other one that I've done. So what have I done? I've left uh, about a row before I've done the mouth. Um, so I'm going to go through from the back here and I'm going to bring out my darning needle just here and then I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail end just there and then I'm going to bring my darning needle over in the same row and I'm going to have it about three stitches apart and I'm going to bring this back out through the same hole that I have um, just been through like so. So I'm going to bring that across. Now I'm going to come back through the same hole and then I'm going to bring it out um, a little bit further down in the centre of that smile like so and then I'm going to pull that thread downwards to catch it and back out the same hole to create that smile. So what that does is it just brings it down. So I'm going to just pull and alter and make sure that I'm happy with that. And then once I am happy, I'm going to go ahead, snip off my yarn and then I'm going to do a knot make it a bit tighter so that it goes into the work and then another I'm going to snip off the excess you can do more if you want to um, but then I'm going to push that inside so that it's hidden and then there we have the smile so now we're going to add the final finishing touches which is the seeds Okay, so I have threaded up a long piece of lemon yarn here and I'm going to do similar to what I've done um, with the mouth. I'm going to start at the back and then poke through my um, darning needle to the front of the work. So I'm going to start here and work my way round. I'm going to come up through a gap and then go back through um, a stitch. And then I'm going to come back out and find another um, gap. So I'm actually going to find a place where it's, it's almost going to mimic a little cheek. So I'm going to come up here and then pull that through just very gently. And I'll almost create a seed where the cheek is. And then the rest are just going to be completely random, just trying to space them out neatly. So you see that one, I'll do the same on the opposite side. So coming out through a space and then into the stitch, which is just above it. And then I'll do the same just here. And you're simply going to work your way round, doing as little or as many seeds as you like. So just try and stagger them as much as possible. Um, but it just adds that extra little touch to your strawberry. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more of these and I'll meet you back in a moment. So once you are done and you're happy with your placement of all of the seeds, you can go ahead and snip off and do exactly the same as what we did before. So just to um, a few tight knots Make sure that you're really happy with that. Snip off and then push that in to your work. And there we have the baby Frigola. So here we have the family of Frigolas, Mummy Frigola, Daddy Frigola, Ella Frigola, 
and Everly Fregola. <laughs> I really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget, I will leave a link in the description box below of where you can find the free pattern for this and also the low cost PDF pattern with the extra sizes as well. All of the information will be on that blog post, so please go and check it out. Don't forget to tag me if you make these or make your own little strawberry family. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button to be notified of my latest crochet tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.